Hi everyone, today I'll be looking at the so-called Coltrane Changes, also known as the Three Tonic System, a concept based on equal division of the octave, more specifically a division into major thirds. Coltrane's name is often associated with this concept as he used it as the basis for several tunes, probably the best known being Giant Steps. Despite this association, Coltrane was by no means the first or only person to utilise equal divisions of the octave. Particularly from the 18th century onwards, composers had begun experimenting with third related keys or tonal areas and equal divisions of the octave, both as a basis for harmonic progressions and for melodic structures. While a detailed examination of these innovations is beyond the scope of this video, I will initially look at some of the theory underpinning these concepts before examining Coltrane's usage. For the majority of us, the octave is typically divided into major and minor seconds, or tones and semitones, grouped to form major and minor scales. In a major scale, this produces an uneven division of the octave, which still has some degree of symmetry with two structurally identical tetrachords joined by a major second. With the harmonic and melodic minor scales, however, there is again an uneven division of the octave, but no symmetry is present. Using certain intervals, the octave may be divided into equal sections. Using minor seconds, for example, produces the chromatic scale. Major seconds produces the whole tone scale. Minor thirds produces a diminished seventh chord. Major thirds an augmented triad. And the tritone divides the octave exactly in half. The chromatic and whole tone scales can be used melodically as scales and arpeggios or can be harmonized and the diminished seventh and augmented triad can be used as chords, or each degree may be harmonized with the same chord type or different chords to form progressions. The chords of these progressions can then be preceded by their own secondary dominant or diminished chords to extend the progression. When extended in this way, each 5-1 or 7-1 progression may be heard as defining its own key, an application which, when used with an augmented triad, produces three keys, or three tonics. Coltrane uses the three tonic system in two ways. Harmonically, as a chord progression forming the basis of a tune, or part thereof, and melodically, as an improvisational tool, whereby the changes are arpeggiated over a static chord, or 2-5-1 progression, or similar. With both of these uses, the structure of the changes remains identical. For example, if we begin from a single chord, such as C major, and construct an augmented triad from its root note, then construct major triads on each of these notes, then precede each of these triads with their own dominance, we produce the Coltrane changes in C. Although in this instance I'm relating the changes to a C tonic, it should be remembered that any of the notes of an augmented triad may be considered the root of its own key or tonal area. In this example then, the changes may be heard as an embellishment of the C major chord. However, by preceding the progression with a D minor seventh chord, the changes may now be heard as an embellishment of a 2-5-1 progression in C major. Looking again at the changes without an initial supertonic, along with the major thirds of the underlying augmented triad, inclusion of the secondary chords creates a repeating pattern of perfect fifths and minor thirds. Inclusion of the supertonic creates an initial minor second before the alternating fifths and thirds pattern begins. This intervallic pattern of alternating perfect fifths and minor thirds gives the characteristic sound to these changes, and although occasionally modified, remains a constant element. A 
along with its basis as an equal division of an octave into major thirds and as a series of alternating perfect fifths and minor thirds, the root notes of each chord of the changes can also be analysed as forming a pair of interlocking augmented triads. In our example, the combined notes of these two augmented triads form the C augmented scale. When harmonised, the C augmented scale contains six augmented triads, which are the augmented versions of the six triads of our example. The harmonised C augmented scale produces only three full seventh chords, which correspond with the major seventh chords of the harmonised C augmented triad of our progression. Used selectively for improvisation, the augmented scale can be used as a means of uniting the whole Coltrane changes progression with a single scale. Because the augmented triad also contains an implied whole tone scale, this scale can also be selectively used for improvisation. Notice that all of the notes of a C whole tone scale are found in the chords of our example and like the augmented scale can therefore be used as a means of uniting the whole progression with a single scale. Along with using a single scale over the changes, probably the most common improvisational approach is to treat each of the 5-1 progressions as its own key. In our example, the keys are G sharp major, E major and C major. When improvising over the Coltrane changes progression, arpeggiation, the modes, pentatonic scales, substitution and other techniques commonly used to interpret standard diatonic 5-1 progressions can be used. When implying the changes over a static chord or different chord progression, the Coltrane changes must be outlined more literally through arpeggiation and scale fragments, a technique which creates chordal extensions and possible harmonic clashes. For example, if we were to imply the changes over a static C7 chord, with the C7 as the dominant 7th of F, we would begin with the supertonic of F, before moving through the familiar alternating perfect fifths and minor thirds pattern. If we treat our static C7 chord as a tonic dominant 7th, we would begin with the supertonic of C, and then proceed with the alternating perfect fifths and minor thirds pattern. In both these examples, over a static C7 chord, the Coltrane changes produces, amongst others, the flat 9th, sharp 9th, flat 13th, and sharp 5 extensions. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.